Welcome back, my lovelies. Today, we're gonna test out genius products for busy women. This can be women on the go, women that are making it, killing it in this world. So let's jump into it because we got some really cool products to test out. So the first product is by the brand Kizik. This is their Cairo sneaker. This right here retails for $99 and they have raving five-star reviews. But what makes this shoe unique, these sneakers, they're always hand-free sneakers. That is incredible. Perfect for women on the go, for, perfect for busy mommies, especially if you have your hands all tied up, you're holding your baby, holding your child. But the one thing is, do they look good and do they perform? Are they convenient? Are they comfortable? Are they cute? You know what I mean? So we got size seven and black. Let's go see how they perform. So the true test is, can you put these shoes on without your hands? Yes. So easy, so comfortable. They kind of squash down right here in the back and then it just goes right back to its shape. And they fit very secure, true to size in my opinion. And they feel really good. They have this cushion inside that's really nice and soft. And I feel like it's kind of bouncy and plushy when you walk. The one thing I do wanna say is this is definitely not a shoe for sports, working out. It's more for kind of like lounging, even they say on their website, for a casual day at the office. I agree, I think this shoe is good for all day wear if you're gonna have like a nice athleisure type of a day, you're gonna be out and about, maybe go to the park with your kids, you're not gonna do much running around, things like that. You just wanna wear a very comfortable shoe. Working out, no, in my opinion. Just because it doesn't really hug your foot, I feel like I could roll my ankle really easily in this shoe, so they don't advertise this as for like, sports, working out, etc. like I said. I think the look of these is actually really cute. I like the design that they have right here. I like this. I'm not sure if it's perforated, but it is a breathable four-way knit is what they call the material. And I like that the laces, you still have that option and you can make the shoe tighter, you can make it more loose if you want to. And I think their logo is just nice and simple, just says it right here on the tongue. And the back of this, I didn't know how I'd feel about this because I was thinking, because it is kind of really stiff. But the thing right here, this is what makes it really comfortable around the lower part of your ankle. and. Yeah, I think that looks really good. I actually really like this part. I think it adds to the design and the look of this shoe and I think it elevates it just a little bit past the casual shoe look. I'm really quite impressed with the look. I didn't think I was gonna like them as much. The one thing I do wanna say about the quality, since they are $99, it's like right around that price point where you're competing against like Nike, some Adidas, higher end sneakers I would say, like right around that $100 price range. I'm looking at this and there are so many glue lines and gaps that I'm really disappointed because I feel like if I get this shoe wet or get dirt or sand inside, I'm thinking even where I would wear the sneaker, like going to the playground, and a lot of times playgrounds have sand and things like that, getting it wet, I feel like it would just come apart quite fast. Just right here, especially where you're putting the shoe together from the sole to the rest of the shoe, it, it doesn't look that good. And it doesn't feel like a substantial shoe, it just feels very, lightweight, kind of like a, a, a shoe around the house, but they are very comfortable. I think they look really cute. I think this is a perfect shoe to wear for errands, a leisure type of a day. You're go, you know you're gonna be out and about all day long and you want some really comfortable shoes on your feet. I think this is a really great on the go. You're busy, you wanna go take off your shoes, you know you're gonna take them off, you put them back on. It's that type of a shoe. Andre was saying he's gonna get himself a couple of pairs because wear like errands around the house, things like that, you slide them in, you don't have to worry about it. Let's move on to the next product. This is by the brand, I think it's called Q New York. This is their stylish bracelet that charges your phone. Retailing for $149. You have several different sizes to choose. Actually, no, small and a medium, and then you choose your finish. You can get rose gold, silver, or a matte black, and you can also personalize it if you want for an extra $2. But what this does is it's a bracelet, but when you need to charge your phone, it can charge up your phone. So that I think is unique. And the thing is, this is only made for iPhones. I'm not sure if they have one specifically for Android, but this in particular is for iPhone since that's the phone I have. And the one thing this does say is really interesting is for a full charge, it lasts up to 30 days and it increases your iPhone battery 50% 
in 40 minutes, which I think is not bad. You know, let's say you're out and about, you have a meeting or you're traveling and you forget your charger or you just don't have your charger on you. Maybe an outlet is not there, your laptop died, who knows? You can get 50% and it lasts up to 30 days on a full charge. So I'm really excited. Oh, you do get a nice, micro USB charge, so they provide that for you, but there is no block. Ooh, we got a matte black one. Whoa, this looks very, substantial. very substantial, okay. So that right there is the charger, and you can see that I only have one box. Ooh, I think that's it, <laughs> I think it died. I didn't charge this because I'm literally opening, up, opening this with you guys, and then you just snap it back in. Hmm, I wonder if this is gonna fit your wrist. Probably not, right? It's definitely very heavy and bulky looking and not my type of a look. It's way too bulky. But what you do is you just put your phone in and let's see if it's gonna charge. Like that. Oh, it's charging, 80% charge, I it's right, 80%. But you just kind of hold it like this and you don't actually wear it while it's charging. And so how does, how, does the, how does it charge again? Oh, you use this, the little micro USB, you charge it, like put it into an outlet, you charge it first, and then for the full charge, it lasts up to 30 days, but it's still charging. Awesome. I, mean, I, guess that's I like that, convenient. yeah. I just don't like that it doesn't look cute. It looks way too bulky, it doesn't feel comfortable on the wrist, it just doesn't look cute. I wish it was cuter. But I understand why it has to be a little bit more substantial and bulky is because they need to hold that battery in there. I do like the idea of this. I just don't, I would never wear this as like a fashion or accessory item. Yeah, look at this. Like, what is that? Is it worth $149? No. It de they definitely have quite a bit of sale, so keep that in mind. I think this is a great present for someone, but definitely get it on sale. All right, let's move on to the next product. I'm excited for this product right here. This is by the brand Radon. I think that's how I'm pronouncing it. This is their women's skinny jeans. I got color black and then we got size four. And they retail for 69 US dollars without tax or shipping. But what makes this really unique or these jeans really unique are the deep pockets. They say you can fit your life in these pockets. You don't need anything else. I figured this is really cool for those people that love shoving stuff in their pockets. And we all know women's jeans pockets are pretty much non-existent. Even if, even if there are pockets, they're like this short. So I'm really excited to see what we can fit in these pockets. And they do say they're not bulky looking when you do have stuff in there. I encourage you and urge all of you to go on their website to watch their promotional video. It's the funniest, but a really cute video. I think it's really sweet. Let's put them on and see how they fit and what we can fit in the pockets. So these jeans, they fit, I would say, true to size. Like I said, I picked up a US size four and the inseam, I actually just looked at our order and we got the regular inseam, which is 30 inches and they're definitely too long for my height. I'm 5'3", but I have shorter legs. My torso is a little bit longer. I wish I got the shorter, inseam, but, any, but if anything, I can just hem these jeans if I really like the fit and feel and the style. And the materials for these jeans is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So they definitely feel quite nice. They have a little bit of a stretch to them, but they're a little bit more of that rough jean material. They're not super soft and very stretchy. So if you're looking for like a nice soft buttery feel jean, this is not it. They're a good mid rise, but the one thing is something in the front, I don't know, maybe if this is just my pair or how they fit on me, they kind of look and fit a little bit awkward right where the belly button is. The jean kind of goes down like a V. It's really interesting, but I'm not sure if I hate it or I like the look of it. I'm not sure. They're like a really good solid black pair of jeans slash jeggings, and I think they look phenomenal. Even for the price of $69, I like all the black little hardware that integrates into the black jeans. All the stitching is black, so it's a really good solid black pair of jeans. And honestly, I think you could wear these to the office maybe with some cute little flats, some booties, things like that, or then kind of dress them down with cute pair of sneakers, 
sandals, but these definitely are a little bit longer. I mean, like I said, for the look, I would either do like a raw hem or get them hemmed professionally. I think for the quality, I was looking at the stitching, I was looking at the zipper, looking at all the little details. I'm honestly quite happy with the price, $69. And they are a smaller brand. I think they're on Kickstarter. But the one thing I wanna say for the pockets, which is like the biggest thing, they're not that deep. I thought they would be. I am not that impressed with the length or the real estate of the pockets. They seem very normal to me. If anything, the front pockets are a little bit longer and the second pocket that's on top of the bigger pocket has a little bit more room. But let's say I put in my phone in the front pocket and the back pocket. It doesn't cover the phone because this right here is the 12 Max Pro, so it's a little bit longer, but I feel like so many people have longer phones nowadays that it's gonna show regardless. Then I put in my lipstick that I'm wearing today, definitely looks bulky, and then my set of keys. It doesn't make the products look more sleek, less bulky, and then again, my phone doesn't fit properly in these pockets. Like my phone is not hidden. It's still completely exposed, or at least the edge of it is exposed. The back pocket has a security flap, and I, they were showing that's where they put the phone so the phone doesn't fall out. Let's say you go into the restroom, you have to pull your pants down. That's literally what they showed in that promotional video. I guess that's why I'm kind of focusing more on the look and fits and feel of these jeans instead of the pockets, even though I purchased these jeans because of the pockets and the pockets are lacking for me personally and in my opinion. I think for the look, for the fit and feel, yes but for the deep pockets and the functionality of the pockets, it's a big no for me, personally for me. This product is really cool. This is a packable coat. You put it in a little bag when you don't need it or you don't need as much space. We wanted to put this on the list was because I feel like you can always keep something like this in your bag, in your car, in your office, and you don't have to carry an extra coat with you. So this right here retails for $44.99 on Amazon. It has really high reviews, almost five stars. So this is 100% nylon with 100% nylon lining, and then 90% white duck down and 10% feather. Interesting. Let's put this on and see what it looks like. The fit of this jacket, true to size. It's a very lightweight jacket. There is a little bit of a stretch around the sleeve and a little bit towards the bottom of the jacket, but very minimal amount. If anything, I would go up a full size to a medium if I do wanna wear this and layer it with a thicker sweater or a thicker shirt, because I feel like if I were to layer this, I would look really bulky. The feel of this jacket, like I said, it's really soft. It's very plushy. And it, honestly, it feels really nice. Like I'm squeezing it and it's kind of coming together, but then it goes apart, but it is very soft. The look of this jacket for like a shorter jacket, I think it looks really nice. It looks comfy. It looks like a nice puffer, very lightweight jacket, but I wish it was a little bit longer. And the one thing I do wanna say, if it's zipped up to about like right here where the collarbone, actually a little bit lower than the collarbone, but it kind of has like a, a weird, awkward look to this right here. I understand why they didn't make it substantial, especially for the zipper because you roll it and you just kind of squash it in the bag, but it just kind of looks weird and it kind of pokes right here. So the look, the fit and the feel looks kind of funky right here at the very top of the zipper and it is a little bit pokey. I would say that's the only uncomfortable feeling of this jacket. Quality wise, I'm not mad. Only thing I'm gonna say is you can definitely see a lot of the tiny little feathers poking out of the seams, which I think is expected just because it is a lower price point. I'm not mad. I think the only thing, like I said, I'm kind of nitpicking is this right here. It doesn't feel as substantial. Like the zippers feel very cheap. And I like that it has pockets. It has the invisible zipper where you can't see it, but it's there. I like that it actually zips up so you can store your stuff, your belongings, and they're not gonna get wet if it's raining. Overall, I actually really like this jacket a lot. I think it's really cute. Last but not least, this is for all of you women that love to take your drinks to go and you want them to be at a nice consistent temperature. This right here is by the brand Ember. This is their temperature control travel mug 2.0 or just two. This retails for a hundred and I believe $89, what? Really high reviews, 836 reviews and almost five stars. That's 
incredible in my opinion. It can hold up to 12 ounces, which is not bad, honestly. It starts with 135 degrees Fahrenheit and then you adjust from there. Also it comes with an app for your phone so that way you can customize your settings, your presets, all that good stuff. And then it says it's a three hour battery life or keep the travel mug on the included charging coaster for all day use, which I think is really nice, especially if you're gonna keep this at the office or like at your home in a certain spot and you don't have to keep reheating the mug or whatever else. And you're kind of like a slow drinker. Cause sometimes I like to sip my coffee or just sip my tea while I'm busy working. And I just, I'm not, I'm not like a chugger. I like to enjoy my coffee and tea. I feel like if you're one of those people that likes to sip, enjoy your drinks, or if you're just gonna keep refilling and you wanna make sure it's nice and warm, I think that's, I think that's amazing. Ooh, ooh, it's really pretty. It's very sleek. I thought it was gonna be heavier, but it feels quite nice. It has a nice little weight to it. It's actually really nice. How cool is that? So the cup ends about like right here. So you still have this much room left. I'm not sure for what, to be honest with you, but I feel like they're wasting a lot of space. This could be a good 14, 16 ounce, but they made it a 12, which I think is, it's okay. But I feel like, for something this expensive, you might want something a little bit more. So you screw this back on and it seems nice. Oh, okay. So you put this down or up and then it's secure. You put this down and I think that's how you drink it. It comes out. Obviously we're gonna test this out, but this looks nice. What I like about this, at first I was worried about the packaging because it is a nice soft matte finish. And most of the time with this kind of finish, when you hold it, it leaves all the fingerprints behind. So I like that with this, it still looks pretty clean, honestly. Okay, let's charge this, because it does say charge before use, and then we can make a drink and see how long we can keep it warm. It says up to three hours while charging, and then you can just have it charged on here. Let's try this out. Keeping it to 145. That's the lowest it's gonna go. Okay, I think we have a pretty good range of different products. I think the only thing I'm kind of disappointed with is the bracelet. It looks a lot cuter online and it is quite pricey. So I would wait for it to go on sale. So I'm gonna leave it there. Please let me know which item is your favorite, the one that actually piqued your interest. But for now, you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me and these really genius, awesome products for busy women on the go. And I'll see the next one very soon. Bye.